Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more APA's video. Cooking APA. Hi, this is Cooking APA. Uh, I saw a seafood Kenneth selling his uh, curry paste recently, so suddenly I got craving for curry chicken. All his fault. <laughs> by, the, by the way, uh, are you also following uh, Kenneth uh, from uh, Singapore? He's really one of the best teacher I've ever seen. Okay, now uh, I have uh, some curry chicken here. I'm only cooking for three persons, so I'm not cooking a lot so that we can finish everything by today. There's one chicken thigh and also two chicken wings. Yeah, cut into uh, bite sizes. Then I have some potato. Okay, the, always remember potato whenever you, after you uh, peel off the skin, you have to keep it under water. If not, it will be oxidized very easily. And curry, as you all know, curry uh, in, involve a lot of spices. So now let's look at the spices. This is a very, I'm, I'm trying to use a very fast and simple version. Add some uh, curry leaves, okay? If you don't have the curry leaves, still okay. You still can go ahead to cook. If you're really craving like to eat curry chicken uh, like Appa. And I have some chopped uh, tomato. There's one tomato here, and these are some, uh, these are fresh herbs. So there's one crushed and bruised uh, lemongrass, one stalk. This is about uh, about one slightly lesser than uh, one tablespoon of uh, chopped ginger. Similar amount of uh, chopped galangal. Galangal is also called blue ginger. This is. Um, uh, little red onion, small red onion, okay, and this is garlic, this is fresh coriander, okay, so these are the fresh herbs, then of course you need to make the curry powder, very simple, I always keep all my uh, powders in a container like this, so it's stacked up, I have actually more than 10 different types, but today I'm going to use the easiest way, so these are the main thing. Uh, main ingredient, main spices for you to make curry chicken or any curries. So first of all, you need uh, one portion. Uh, today I'm going to use um, one ratio, so one uh, t t tablespoon of coriander powder, one tablespoon of uh, this is uh, turmeric powder, and two tablespoon of red chili. So this will actually gives you gives you the nice ratio one one two these three will form a very nice and easy curry powder so first of all we want to saute our fresh ingredient okay put some oil you need a little bit more oil for this dish because your curry powder is going to soak up your oil later huh Tomato, curry leaf, okay you want to saute this for probably approximately 2 minutes before we continue. Okay I'm going to sh um, come back later, alright this is after the about 2 minutes sorting. You will notice my tomato started to uh, dissolve. This is why I actually cut them, chop them into a uh, much smaller size so that it is actually easier to dissolve faster. If you want it to, to dissolve even faster, you can put some uh, salt. Yeah, Then your, your uh, tomato can dissolve even faster. Alright, so I'm going to turn down the fire right now. and adding the powders actually just actually turn off the fire already just turn off yeah safer so approximately this is about one tablespoon of coriander powder about one tablespoon of turmeric powder 
I think I have about 10 different types of different powders or including cumin and everything but today I'm going to make it simple and um, two tablespoon of red chili powder I'm going to turn off the fire again not high heat but some uh, medium so this will become a very uh, nice curry paste if you want to prepare more you can actually uh, keep the excess one in the fridge Okay, use medium heat to slowly saute your curry paste because um, this way it will really bring out the nice curry flavor you don't have to wash and wait the two minutes I'm going to fast forward for you okay this is after about three four minutes sorting under medium heat you don't want you cannot use a uh, high heat on this because the powder can get burned easily okay all right now is where I can put in my meat and also my potato Now you can put out high heat. This this particular process is, is going to look extremely appetizing. Even before it is fully cooked. See how appetizing it looks? Okay. Once everything is covered, nice coated nicely with the curry paste. Now we can add in some hot water. Why is it I'm using hot water? Is because I don't want to reduce the temperature of the wok. This way, your ingredient can be cooked more thoroughly. And we need to bring this to a boil before we let it simmer. Oh, it is boiling very fast. And I heard my wife just came back. So yeah, timing just nice. She can take a shower, then after that she can eat. Right after the shower. I'm going to put in slightly more water because it will eventually reduce yeah? but there's one more liquid that we haven't put in first which is the uh, milk I'm using normal milk today because I don't have uh, coconut milk with me the best is always to use coconut milk but you only put that in towards the end yeah if not the coconut milk will actually separate yeah the oil you can can actually separate so um, um, today I'm not using coconut milk, I'm just using normal milk. Still, I'm, I'm going to put it in towards the end. Okay, it is now boiling. So, the, basically the chicken can be cooked like in about 10 minutes time. But the potato will need at least 20 minutes easily. I'm going to close this. Turn, tune it down to medium heat and let it simmer under medium heat for minimum 20 minutes based just for the potato to uh, be fully cooked okay okay my curry chicken has been simmering under medium heat for the past about 20 22 minutes wow it's looking so appetizing right now just want to make sure my potato is cooked yep it is cooked so we can do some final seasoning and also adding in the creamy the creaminess 
So use coconut, fresh coconut milk is always the best. If not, you can get the packaged um, coconut milk that you can find from the supermarket. If not, you can also use fresh milk like what I'm doing right now. Okay. Or you can use um, original uh, yogurt, also can. Usually, if you add the fresh coconut milk, then you should off the fire. Do not cook the co uh, coconut milk, yeah? If not, the, the coconut oil will actually start to separate. So, I'm going to put in the final seasoning. Where's my salt? Okay, and my sugar. Right. You can off the fire right now. Immediately after adding the uh, milk, it, it becomes creamier. Just want to test it to see. Mmm. Just nice. <coughs> Nicely spiced. Um, a bit of savory, a little bit of spicy, perfect. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, serve it into a bo small bowl. Okay, so here's my uh, curry chicken. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Abba Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Abba YouTube channel. Enjoy your dinner with your family. Bye bye.